Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore offset edge slide tool in the Blender software. Right now I've got a mesh cube and I'll select the mesh cube and press tab to switch into the edit mode. And here I've created uh, some loops uh, in the middle and you should be able to see this side uh, loop. Uh, uh, the, the middle loop is like uh, modified and the loop which is on the left side of it is exactly same and the loop which is on the right side is straight. Okay, so I'm going to apply this uh, edge slide uh, just by holding alt just click that line and it will select the total loop and once that is selected you can go to this edge menu and use this option called offset edge slide or you can press shift ctrl r and then you should be able to see you got two lines uh, on both sides of this loop and then uh, here we have a, a factor and when i increase the factor here i've got two lines which are having completely different shapes altogether they are not same as um, the middle line so the the thickness is not really maintained but when i say even and then when i just uh, change the factor relative to it the thickness is properly maintained it is uh, very much useful when we are trying to uh, do some modification or extrusions for any sort of belts or something like that and uh, if even is not there uh, and when i increase the factor the thickness is completely gone there so even is that uh, for um, the offset edge slide and we have a uh, a flipped option which is basically doing the opposite it is actually taking the uh, shape of uh, the sides so uh, as you saw um, when i was having the offset there are two lines right so when i say flipped one side line is taking shape of this neighboring edge the other side is taking the shape of this neighboring edge so there are two different shapes of lines because you switched on the flipped option if not it's maintaining the middle line shape again which is useful for creating beautiful uh, uniform loops and uh, we have uh, apart from that we have clamped and for that I'm going to undo it and press shift ctrl r and then when I drag it you should be able to see it stopped uh, uh, at the neighboring edge and it's locked there but when I hold alt it should generally it's not crossing but uh, let me try for different edge maybe for this when I hold alt it should generally cross or move over that when I hold alt and drag you should be able to see that edge is sliding over right so earlier I was not getting this but you should be able to see now it's getting now clamp is uh, off right now so if I generally switch off the clamp this is what uh, it's going to happen uh, but if I don't do that if clamp is on it is going to touch the boundary lines there so that's what this offset edge slide does okay uh, I'll also talk about one option here so when I hold this line and then press shift ctrl r and drag it and you should be able to see there are two lines coming this way and I'm talking about cap end point and you should be able to see there's a line here okay so that line can be switched on here using offset edge slide tool okay uh, you have correct UVs option generally when you have done the UV unwrapping and you want to add this loop without affecting the UVs then you can switch on correct UVs and then try it 